A 10-year-old student in Brooklyn lost his metro card when he was trying to get onto the MTA, and he started to pray for it to come back. So as he was reciting a prayer in Arabic, the bus driver allegedly became so outraged that he called him a terrorist and kicked him off the bus. Uh, as a result, his parents are now suing. They said that they spoke to the MTA officials, and uh, they, w they refused to release the identity of the bus driver, and they refused to even release a statement to the press. So they feel that there's no other option than to seek legal counsel. So I, I wish they didn't have to go to legal counsel. Uh, so sometimes you get a bad break in life, uh, and you know you got to move on, right? So I, I, I don't love when we sue one another. On the other hand, I can see their frustration because the MTA is clearly not going to do anything about this. No. And clearly the bus driver was in the wrong. And so it's the MTA basically saying we're going to cover it up unless you make us do otherwise. I'm actually happy that they're suing. And the mm -hmm. reason why I say that is because right now, you know, a very specific group of people in this country continuously get discriminated against and continuously get stereotyped. And this, you know, this anti-Muslim, anti-Arab um, type of mentality that, mentality that we have needs to go away. And the only way that it goes away is if the community fights back against it. So if that means little, you know, achievements here and there in, in terms of doing a lawsuit or whatever, if that means that it'll change the mindset and teach people that this type of discrimination is uncalled for and it's wrong, then I'm all for it. I definitely hear you on that. And remember, look, the kid was 10 years old. I mean, what kind of a person are you that you're like, you're going to discriminate against a 10-year-old, you're going to kick that 10-year-old off the bus? And by the way, his prayer said, I stand in the name of God the most merciful, the most beneficent. So not exactly hostile. Of course, now the bus driver doesn't hear that. He, he just hears, hears the it Arabic in. and he's right. just like... So, I'm sh and uh, my guess, I have no idea, but my guess is the bus driver probably thinks he's a good Christian. And as this guy is saying, hey, God, God most merciful, can you help me find my Metro card? He's kicking the kid off the bus. Of course, he hears like, I shadow la ilaha illa line, he gets scared. Oh my God, you know, whatever. He gets frightened by a 10 year old. Yeah, and, and by the way, the prayer actually worked. He found the Metro card. The guy kicked him off the bus anyway. Think about it, Jink. Are you feeling agnostic right now? Mm. On the other hand, God is most merciful and beneficent. <laughs> okay, uh, seriously, uh, don't pick out 10-year-olds. Come on. I love that we have to make that public service announcement. And MTA, don't defend a guy who picked out a 10-year-old. And it doesn't matter what your religious background is, and obviously uh, I don't believe in Islam, but, I, but that's not the point. The point is we're all Americans. We all have our right to whatever religion we want to practice. And it doesn't matter how old he was, you should never kick him off for saying a, a prayer in Arabic. And on top of that, he's a young kid, don't do it, okay?